guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tosi Nadia I've been here for those that are new here I know you'll be like what reverse hold up what did she just say um yes my name has changed my name is Tosin Ade Aibin as you can see here um actually my name has been changed since June but I just formally never came on my channel to talk about it because we still had one more wedding ceremony before it was officially out there that um yeah that we were joined in holy matrimony um I'm gonna explain to you guys maybe in another video why we decided to do our wedding in bits and parts largely because of culture and also another bit because of our living arrangements so in this video as you can see from text we're going to talk about something a little bit different from the wedding planning which is um my bridesmaid selection and the gifts and all that and this this video is probably going to be like in one of the bright bri wedding series or bride to be series i plan on doing maximum of three videos or even just two videos because if i make it one video it will be too long hence that's why there are two or three videos so in this video as you can see as i said i'm going to be talking about how i put my bridesmaids boxes together and how i chose my girls and i'm just going to insert various clips photos and this is just to help you if you're like me you think we have similar um, characteristics or personalities and you know that you're really a, you're a thoughtful person you didn't just want to give your bride or you don't want to give your bridesmaids just anything casual this is a good video for you just to um, show you guys some tips and budget friendly way of putting a bridesmaids box together so if you'd like to know more definitely keep watching okay so um, when it came to choosing the girls in the first place one of the things I considered was I actually initially just wanted two girls as uh, just two bridesmaids but I, as I was looking through my friends and I was just thinking to myself like who are the two girls that I wanted to pick and I was just thinking that's absolutely impossible I have like a legion of women in my life that have been so pivotal to my life and also my relationship with my husband now so when I was writing her names from two, it became four, it became five, it became six. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should just scrap everything and just make them my shabby girls instead. But I was like, no, I've always wanted bridesmaids, even if it was just a few. And I spoke to my mom about it. She was like, ah, oh, you know what? Totally have 10, 15 that they'll make your day colorful. So I eventually ended up having nine bridesmaids. And when I was just thinking about the girls, I was just so happy that I eventually went with these girls because there were women that it really helped. No one was there trying to be a slave queen. No one was there trying to be sus. Everyone was really, really dedicated to my day. And everyone that was there was so helpful. And I was really, really, really grateful to God that I eventually chose these girls. So obviously I knew I needed, I wanted to give them something like a keepsake for for them to have like a reminder of the wedding ceremony and I, I looked online I'd seen past weddings I've been a bridesmaid before and usually they either give you a robe or they give you a mug or they give you maybe a bridesmaid box or survival kits and but most of my friends don't drink and we were not having any sleepover of any sort after the wedding so the survival kits would have been absolutely useless but I just thought you know I liked the kit idea the box idea I'm going to put that together so I started looking online for boxes and ideas. I wanted to make the boxes myself and write really um, nice things on the box with my own handwriting. But I couldn't get a box that was up to my taste. And even the, when I finally got the boxes, they were so expensive to bring into Nigeria. Because the ones that were probably lightweight were flimsy and the ones that were hard were too heavy. So I, I spoke to one of my bridesmaids, Debola, and I told her that I needed someone that made boxes in Nigeria. And she recommended this company to me, Aragon. I'll put all the details of all the companies that I mentioned that I find useful, that I found useful under this video. And I reached out to them and I told them my idea and the guy was first of all like, oh, he's going to charge me 2500 per box. Now, if you are not in Nigeria and just equi like, that's literally equivalent to 8 to 10 pounds for just a box, which is rather expensive because I still wanted to fill things in the box. And I kind of explained to him that, oh, it was a referral, that can I get a discount? And then he, I eventually got the boxes for about 2200 minus delivery costs. So he asked me, we exchanged ideas. I told him I just want something wide enough to fit a fabric and sturdy enough to fit a wine box. So he was like, cool. He came back to me, I approved the design and I was really happy with the service. Customer service was good. When I paid, he acknowledged payments immediately. I don't, I don't want to say he, the company, but the person I was speaking to, the, I think the main guy that I was speaking to, and he was really, really polite and he was very courteous. Then he told me the boxes were going to be ready in 10 days. So in 10 days time, the boxes were ready, which is really, really surprising. I mean, knowing that they were actually handmade boxes and I sent my delivery man to 
go pick them up and they went to pick them and the boxes came and they were absolutely stunning they were so beautiful the color theme was nice i chose for our wedding crest to be in the middle of the box and then white with a gold ribbon but i noticed that when the boxes came some parts of the boxes are torn and i was just like oh, so livid but well, i complained to him and he explained to me that because of this delivery method that we use we actually use a dispatch rider so if you're doing yours make sure you go with a car or a van don't use like a motorcycle so go and pick up your boxes they will be ruined and i think they also rained that day but he offered me replacement boxes so he asked me how many wasn't useful and i said four and then he offered me replacement boxes in like another one week which was really good so when I got the boxes, I figured that all the boxes were the same. There was no way to identify like whose box was which. So they were all the same boxes. So I was like, let me just print names on them. And I'm a very handsy person. So if you're watching this video thinking of how to make your bridesmaids boxes, you should try to be as DIY as possible. I would have needed to turn the boxes back to have the names printed. But I just thought to myself, I had sticker paper. Sticker paper is like A4 paper for print. And I bought them on eBay. I'll put links on where I bought them in this video as well. I bought stick, sticker paper and then I went on Canva. Canva is a really good graphics design website. And I designed like all, I just wrote down all the names of the girl with like with little hearts. And I had them printed out on an A4 paper. I'm just going to use like my mirror as a, so let's say this is an A4, A4 paper. I had the names like this and I had them printed out. So I just used the scissors to cut it into like tiny squares as you can see in this video now. And it was, I placed them on each box. So I was able to identify which one was Mercy's, which one was Toulouse. The next thing I knew I wanted to do for the boxes was obviously appreciation notes and why I wanted them to be bridesmaids. So I'm going to talk about the things, the, the print things first before I go to the things that I actually bought and the ones that I made. So the print things then, I went on my computer again, I went on Canva, I designed it like I used the postcard. Now I have photo paper, photo paper is what you like, you know when you print your picture, you know that square, small, I have them at home, I bought them from Poundland a long time ago which was like a pound. So and it works for my printer. I use a regular HP desktop printer and it works fine for everything that I wanted. So I designed it and I put it on each person. So for example, I'll say, Devola, you're my bridesmaids because you're so resourceful. You've planned this wedding to with me and thank you very much and you know lots of love to see. I found that that was really a really good touch so that the girl knows that you're not just it's not just a generic selection. You actually chose her for specific reasons and you're appreci appreciating her for this particular reason so i printed that out for all the nine girls and i put each one in each box and the next thing i wanted to do was a bridesmaids checklist now as i'm speaking to you you'll be seeing what i mean on the side or in this frame now a checklist for me was what i needed from the girls i just wanted them to be happy i wanted them to be helpful and i wanted them to you know have fun so i put it there that um, the checklist was lots of smiles lots of prayers i wanted people that were going to pray with me and you know have good thoughts towards my day as well just keep me in their prayers so i put it there and i asked them to send like their really nice photos so they all send their photos and i put it in the in each um, checklist paper this was also printed with the postcard size paper that I got from um, Poundland. So I printed it and I stuck that with double-sided tape. I got double-sided tape too from Poundland. Now a lot of things that I bought there, I bought them when I was abroad. That's why it's good. I would say one thing is whatever, as intentional as you want to do your bridesmaids boxes, I recommend that you start really early. Because mine, I already knew I wanted to do the boxes. My wedding was in December. That was like three weeks, two weeks ago. And I bought these things I needed in July when I came here for holiday. Another thing that I also printed was for the dresses. I wanted, I didn't want the girls to wear, um, how would I call it, regular bathrobes. You know the usual bathrobes that you guys you see in wedding. I wanted them to wear shift dresses that they could wear out or they could wear in their house. You know, just a really nice simple shift dress. And luckily I walked into a boutique, a random boutique, and I found a white shift dress. And they had it in 10 pairs for different sizes or rather in one size but it was stretchable for all the sizes so i got the dress and i got each one was four thousand naira but it was on sale for half price so i eventually got the dresses for two thousand naira per dress which was really good and i got for all the nine girls and then i wanted labels because the labels that came with the dresses had this like chinese ching chong hmm, and i didn't want that so i went back to canva and then i designed a label that said you know um made specifically for bridesmaids on ba bailing wedding bailing was our hashtag so that's my husband's name and my own name and then that was our hashtag 
and then pretend you're an angel today because it was white so i had that printed as you can see and i used like a thread like sewing thread and needle to sew it onto the dress but i needed a hole so i got a perforator and i perforated the paper now what i did was on like a a4 paper like this i'm going to use a4 paper as my guide i made the design but i how would I, I i duplicated it on the paper or replicated it on the paper so this one design it was here 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 so i had about nine designs actually more almost 20 designs on one a4 paper no one design in 20 places but i just needed nine so i just cut out the little size that i wanted literally two to three inch i perforated it and then i sew it onto the fabric so that was that for the dress uh, the next thing was me brainstorming the exact items that I wanted to be in the bridesmaids boxes. Now, I wanted it to be a couple of things that represented my own personality. So I already knew I was going to give them something in form of makeup, something, you know, that they could drink. I, went, I knew I was going to give them a specific gift that was the main gift besides the shift dress. And I knew I wanted to just put like a little, uh, some other things. So I started researching again of, you know, I wanted jewelry. I'm thinking of night. I wanted to do bracelets, but I couldn't find, or the ones that I found were too expensive. And I decided like, hey, you know what, why don't we get customized necklaces like the one I'm wearing? Mine has my name. I'm going to show you guys this as well, so you see what I mean. It has my name on it. So I wanted each girl to have this. So I eventually made this for them and for all the girls. So Ted, including myself. And I started researching. So in Nigeria, everyone that could do like engraving on metal plate necklaces we're charging so much fifteen thousand per girl if i'm going to do that for nine girls that's going to cost me my arm you know so i started going online and i started checking luckily for me i do business with people that are from china so i knew that if i found out from china i would find someone that could offer the service so i stumbled on this company they were willing to help me but it was it was affordable but it was going to become extremely expensive i mean i'm talking about hundred dollar per girl if i was to ship it to nigeria and as god will have it my good friend tolu was traveling to china for business so i just asked her if i could have it delivered to her house and then we i agreed the design with the printer i spoke with them we agreed on the price and a discount and because i was making 10 i told him it was for my wedding and he shipped it to my friend's hotel the guy when i when i approved the designs for the necklaces he was like oh that can i see a picture of myself and my fiance as i said i told him it was for my wedding and i was like okay yeah sure so i sent him a picture of myself and buyer from our pre-wedding shoes and he was like oh it's so nice that he's gonna send me a free gift so when the necklaces came he actually put this it's already on my house key can you see like their keychains? It also comes with a long necklace, like just in case you want to wear it as a dog tag. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This this also came in its own box, and I just thought it was a really really unique gift, and I was so happy with that as well. And I really I was so appreciative when the necklaces came to Nigeria. They were really beautiful. Also, the guy who took a step further and engraved my name on the boxes. So each necklace box said from Tosin, which was really thoughtful just made it look more presentable like a gift now the next thing for me was also decide all the other items that i wanted wanted to be in the box besides the necklace and the dress now we have two gifts so i wanted obviously as i said something to drink and like gum so i got gum i just got a pack of mentors gum i removed it from the sleeve that comes with the gum so just the tablet looking type and then i had this little butterfly papers that i got from ebay as well and i just put gum on it so that they know it's gum and then i stuck it on it with double side the tape as well on the on the gum then it was in the box also another thing that i did was i gave them wine bottles that was customized so my aunt like she owns a gift a wine shop a wine shop so i went there and then i picked a the pack of wine that I wanted. I think I got it for maybe 7,000 naira for a pack of 12 bottles and I just wanted nine as I said. So I brought out each bottle of wine. I wanted to like start cleaning off the label and then start thinking of how I was going to get labels. But this is where my sticker paper came in and handy as well. I just designed it back to Canva and I put, you know, it's grape juice, like especially for you from the future Mrs. my last name, and then which is on the bottle as you can see. So when I just printed it out, as I said, let's say this was the A4 paper, each sticker was about this thick because of the width of the wine bottle's original label. So I'm, each paper took about four of this. So one, two, three, four, like that. So like each A4 paper had like four designs here. 
So I would really say if you're you good with graphics, it will be easy for you to get all these designs and choose like a color scheme based on the item. So I printed out on sticker paper. I let it dry a bit because the paper was a bit, um, the ink takes a while to dry on the sticker paper. And then I just cut it very neatly with the scissors and I put it around each bottle. So I did that. Let's say one A4 paper gave me four labels. I did it about three times. And I just had that label done. Obviously, you will make mistakes, you remove it, you place it properly. So the wine bottle was set. The next thing I wanted to give them were obviously earrings that were going to wear for the day. Now, my goal for the necklace, like necklace like this, was for them to wear it with the sundress, with the shift dress in the morning for like um, the pre wedding photo shoots for the girls. And then the earrings were for them to wear um, as on the bridal train. So I went to Lagos Island Market, which is very popular. And it took me like, let me say 20 minutes to find like really nice earrings that I wanted in the quantity that I wanted. So the issue wasn't finding the earrings. It was finding someone that had up to 10 pairs with them or 9 pairs with them. So I finally found this lady. She told me that she only had about 5 but she would go and look for for me. So I waited in front of her store. She went. She came back. Said she found 2 more. I was like, no, if I don't find 9, I can't buy any one of them. And she was like, okay, wait. And then she went again and she came back. So I was able to find 10. And I got each for about 800 naira, which is really fair. That's about two pounds per year. And it was really beautiful. So I was thinking, okay, you know what? I don't want it to be with the packaging that I came with. So I went back to my computer. I did another design as well with each girl's name. And then now I have a, it's, you're going to take a lot. It's going to eat all your ink. So just prepare if you want to do it DIY. And I find that it's cheaper to do it DIY because if you go to these companies that they print or a printer, they will tell you that they can tell you they'll print one for you for a thousand naira, which is too expensive because for them the higher you print the cheaper it is so i printed it out but this time i used my photo paper because it'd be thicker and then i used tea paints tea paints is what they used to like i'll put a picture here or you can just use um push tack board those colorful push tack pens and i use it to pierce the paper i would have used the hook that the earring hook itself but I didn't want it to bend or anything. So I just pierced it and it was really nice. The tipping was so neat. It gave it a perfect circle. And then I just put the earrings per each girl's name and I put it in the box. Another thing I wanted to give them was also um, bathroom slip, no, well, bedroom slippers. Like, let me show you what I mean. I have my own pair. So, sorry to be something like this. Mine says the bride, the and the bride on the other legs. But I wanted this for all the girls as well. So I went to an Amazon, I looked, I went to eBay, I finally found a seller. I'll put the links below. Uh, I think it was going for yeah, three or four pounds for five pairs. So I needed to just buy two sets. I'm sure it's really good. They came here on time. My brother when he was coming to Nigeria, I brought them along for me. And that was really, really happy as well. The girls were able to wear it in the morning with their dresses. Then I also wanted a reception sleepers which that's the only thing I think I don't have a picture of because I got it like literally a day to the wedding and I went I met this lady on like in the market and I asked her that can she get me 10 pairs of white flowery slippers and she got it was so beautiful I maybe by the time I'm editing this video if I can ask my friend to send me a picture of her own pair and it was really useful because the girls changed into it at the reception when they were tired of wearing their heels so they had that in the box i did not provide shoes for my bridesmaids i asked them to just come with any silver heel that they had but preferable like um thin straps just so it's not too bulky on the dress and yeah that was that another thing i gave them was mac eye pencil i bought that also at the store i got mac eye pencils for all of them and eyeliner rather then also i put candle like tea light candles i had a bag that i bought i think during my introduction so i just took out a few and i put it in each box and then i also put petals petals are so affordable they're like i think 150 naira for like almost 200 pieces you just have to separate them like i don't know how they come but that's how i just separated i put it in the box also i put crepe paper so crepe paper is like colorful tissue paper that when you buy new shoes you know how they come in the box but i found that at blanco blanco is the same store where i got the supplies that i used for my diy bridesmaid hangers i don't know if you haven't watched the video please click the annotations above and make sure you watch that video it's really helpful and they have like an art supply store and i'm really concerned with the place and i got crepe paper for i think it was 600 naira, and i got just two packs although one pack was enough and i got as blue so i put that at the to separate from the white dress and the wine bottles just so that it kisses any spilling wine bottles they come really well sealed but i wasn't about to take chances because the dresses were white so i got that as well another thing that was also a hit with the girls was the maison jars now maison jars are sold like practically everywhere in the uk but in nigeria it's such 
a hot cake item like I think even vendors use it for like cocktails and Chapman and all that so it was really hard for me to find mason jars but during my introduction ceremony I actually went deep into the market like I can't remember the exact place they call the area but it's called, I think if it's not Akmogbon, I, yeah, I don't think it's Akmogbon, it's somewhere inside Lagos Island. I would, if I remember the name by the time I'm editing this video, I'll put it there. If not, I apologize. And I was able to buy, I needed about 70 pieces. I was able to buy, I think, two cartons because each one came in a pack of um, 24. I bought three cartons, yeah. I think one came in a pack of 24 and I was able to buy it. So I'm not sure of the individual prices, but if I divide it, it came up to about, let me say, 300 naira per, per maison jar. So during the introduction, I had them with stickers. So I gave the girls brand new ones that were not used and I put in the boxes as well. And I had this gold straw that I got from this party shop in Ikoyi. I also put the name of the party shop below. And the gold straw is just like, it was like, yeah, centered the box. And yes, that's what I put that in the box. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. Yes, I put a hair tie because the hairstyle for the day was a center part like this. Just have your hair to the back, like you can see in this picture again. And I wanted all of them to have like the same hair tie, just in case someone did not come with there. So I bought a pack of hair tie as well. And I put it in nylon, and then I put it on top of each box. And also I put give them powder puffs. So just like this foam powder puff, I think I got that in a gift set a while ago. So I just took out ten, and it was round circle. I'll put a picture of what I mean by powder puff here, and I put that in each box, and then. I just tied the box now I was able to do these things like my wedding was in December I was able to pack the entire box as a let me say October the only thing I did not pack was the slippers the bedroom slippers that my brother bought and brought a day before the wedding no rather a week before the wedding and that couldn't even go in the box so that was on the side of the box but I was so happy because the girls were so happy and when they saw the boxes all of them they were just like oh my god this is really beautiful and even the necklace I'm, it's a really good keepsake I've had mine since the wedding and I think I got it for about hmm, should I share no I won't share I won't share but if you want to know send me a mail I may reply you anyway so I got the necklaces and yeah it was really good i was really really happy that another thing i would say is if you calculate like everything i've mentioned that i spent money on in this video from the dresses to the box to the necklaces this was the most expensive the necklaces and this is even minus the main dress they wore on that day for the wedding itself which i i made for them that was custom made as well the bridal train dress it's already costing way much more so if you're waiting that you know when the girls maybe they pay you 20k for all their dresses you want to take out of that money to buy them a gift you will get a gift i'm not going to lie to you i mean obviously you'll just get something as much as this or more thoughtful not don't let me say thoughtful because people have their own yardsticks of what thoughtful is you may not get things like you may not be able to get jewelry fancy jewelry like this because um by the time you make the dress alone there's really not too much left so i bear the cost as i said i do not buy everything in one day Today, if I go to the market, I'll buy the earrings. Tomorrow, I'll see another thing I'll buy. So it was, it kind of lessened the, um, the financial pressure on me. So I bought the things, I spread out the cost literally. So I would say that if you want to do anything for your brides, we would choose girl. let them know on time. If you're going to form a WhatsApp group, do that. Trust me, it aids a lot of process. We literally did not have any misunderstanding in the group because I knew what I wanted. I wasn't waiting for anybody to tell me what they wanted. I know people would be like, ah, oh, I want the girls to be happy. If you're having more than two girls, you can't really leave the responsibility of oh, they should choose a style. Before I even opened the group, I've chosen the hairstyle, I've chosen the makeup, I've chosen the dress style. I just put in the group that this is what you're wearing, this is how you're gonna look. Thank you so much for sharing my day. Remain blessed. Here's the financial implication. You know what I mean? So that just kind of made everything fast. And trust me, the girls were even happy that I did it that way because they couldn't be bothered and most of them all of them looked beautiful so i was really really happy with that so that's really how i made this bridesmaids box i got so many questions on it on my instagram dm when i shared the short clip that you saw at the beginning of this video and i just thought to make this video just to explain so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions please leave below i have like two more videos to film and I hope that, you know, clearly I've moved, so I'm no longer in Nigeria at the moment. And, yeah, so I'm just going to be making videos. I'm going to try and to be as diligent as possible, which is really difficult, because if I could find... I'm sure the lighting in this video will even be going back and forth. If I could find a good, well-lit space in my house, it took a while. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
and yeah leave a comment subscribe share to your friend and till next time stay blessed bye